This is Su Fei with your special Olympics report in Beijing. I'm here in Ditan Park and the opening ceremonies are tonight. This is one of the places where Chinese people are going to be watching the Olympics over the next couple of weeks. And I'm bringing you our special report on women in sports. We're here with our sexy sports correspondent, Maggie Rauch, and she's going to bring us news and analysis over the next couple of weeks about women in the Olympics. Now, I hear there's some quite famous Chinese women in ping pong. Is that true? Absolutely. It's the national sport, and women are part of the action. Let's take it over to the ping pong table. Chinese women are expected to dominate uh, definitely in ping pong. Uh, the number one player in the world is uh, Zhang Yining, uh, and the uh, elder stateswoman of the team is Wang Nan, and Guo Yue is the, the young upstart. Look for them to win individual and team medals. What about in team sports? Well, the Chinese uh, football team or soccer team, the women uh, opened, up, opened up preliminary play with a 2-1 a win over Sweden, but they're going to have a tough road. Uh, the, the, the most exciting team to watch is going to be the women's volleyball team. Uh, who won gold in 1984 and again in 2004 in Athens, and they're looking to repeat, but they've got a lot of challenges ahead of them. What happened with soccer the other day? Uh, the women won 2-1 over Sweden, and uh, it was a preliminary match uh, played in Tianjin. Uh, and uh, a, young, a young player, Xu Yuan, who was not on my radar, uh, was involved in both goals. She scored the first and assisted on the second, so uh, it was a pretty exciting day for women's soccer. Are there any other athletes we should be keeping our eye on? Who should we be watching and what should we be looking for in these coming games? What's going to be exciting? Well, uh, Guo Jingjing, the, the diving queen, uh, is going for gold, gold medals number four and five in the individual springboard and the synchronized uh, springboard. And uh, look for a couple of other Chinese women to do well in diving. Um, the gymnastics team is contending in the team event and in lots of the individual events as well. Uh, the beach volleyball team, not talked about nearly as much as the indoor volleyball team, is also strong. They're the top seed going into the tournament. That's, um, that's Tian Jia and her, and her teammate uh, Wang Fei. And uh, they, they, open up, they open up play uh, in, a, in a group that they should definitely do well in. It looks like you're a beach volleyball fan. Well, I like the beach. Um, and. Uh, I don't get a chance to go to the beach here in Beijing, so I'm looking forward to going and watching, uh, watching some games on Chaoyang Park. And who's your favorite athlete? What's your favorite sport this, this season? Uh, the, the, the Chinese female athlete that I have, ha, have really grown to like is uh, Jiao Ruirui. She's, um, she's a player on the volleyball team, and she missed most, most of the Athens games uh, because she broke her leg early in the, early in the tournament. And uh, Jiao Ruirui, first of all, she's really tall, 1.97 meters. I don't know what that translates to into feet, but um, as a tall woman in China, um, I can sympathize with some of the struggles she's probably been through every day, and uh, she's also just really fun to watch. She really clearly enjoys playing. Um, you rarely see her without a smile on her face, uh, yet she's a fearsome player up at the net for China. She's, she's a favorite. Well, there you have it. Thanks. <laughs> Because <笑>